Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator and today is the day sim update 5 guys we're going to be checking it all out FPS texture resolutions scenery VR performance we're going to be taking a look at all so stick around if you are interested in learning how to fly the A320, consider checking out my Overkill's A320 guide. This guide is available on either my Patreon site or via PayPal donation. PayPal donation, $10 or more, just be sure to specify which guide you're looking for as I have more than one. Patreon site, tier two or above, again, $10 a month, but that gives you access to all the guides that I currently have available and then all that are coming in the future. My A320 guide walks you through how to install the A32NX mod by Fly-By-Wire. For those who don't know, the A32NX mod takes the default uh, A320 Microsoft Flight Simulator and brings its function, uh, functionality and features up to what I would consider study level simulation, and it's all completely free. Um, so be sure to check that out. Uh, this guide walks you through everything from creating your flight plan into SimBrief, reading your flight plan in SimBrief, Entering your flight plan in Microsoft Flight Simulator, if that's how you choose to do so, in the main menu or in the main map. Um, full cockpit tours, walking through every button, switch, etc., letting you know, guys, know where all the different panels and what the different options are, different displays on the screen and icons and things that you may experience while in flight and what they mean and how to read them and, and interpolate with the information being displayed. The preliminary checklist before startup. Starting up the aircraft, taxi, takeoff, navigation, your altitude management, features of the MCDU that aren't related specifically to the A320 but are available because of fly-by-wire and their efforts, um, how to break down a flight route, understanding what you're looking at so you can take this information, use it in future flights, um, rather than just copying and pasting information that you're seeing on a screen or on a document, um, how to acquire some more um information that's provided in the A320, specifically, specifically the A32NX. Um, the different gauges, again, understanding what you're looking at versus just you know powering up and going, uh, getting some of that background information to solidify your flight. Looking at approach plates, departure plates, SIDs, STARS, all those things that we have to consider when doing an IFR flight. Um, managing your descent, when to um, start your descent, um, as well as the approach and giving you goals of where you want to be at specific points and even the missed approach for shutdown we go through the startup or, or the uh, cold and dark and the turnaround status so again if you guys are interested in a guy like this and interested in learning how to fly the uh, uh, a320 consider donating or subscribing to patreon to acquire your guide all right, so first off, the first thing I want to mention to anybody who may be having trouble getting the M update to trigger, I was having the same problem. I could launch the sim over and over and over again, and uh, the sim wouldn't update. What I ended up actually having to do was to restart my computer. So if your computer has been on, you know, I almost never shut mine down. Um, so if your computer's been on, restart it, and what that will do is reset the cache on the Microsoft Store, and then once I reboot and launch the simulator, it updated without issue. So one of the biggest things that we uh, are boasting about today is increased, uh, or decreased, I should say, load time. So I'm going to launch a simulator, and we're going to see what the load time looks like from start to map. Now, I want to remind everyone that as of this moment, all my mods, all add-ons are currently removed. This is the simulator in its base format. So, executable has just been clicked. And if anyone has any questions, my computer specs are down in the description below. We're running an AMD Ryzen 9 3900 XT PCIe uh, e Gen 4 NVMe.2 with a uh, th uh, 32 gigs of DDR4 PC3200 um, at base clock and a GT or a RTX 2080 Ti and we're running at 4K uh, native resolution. All right, so here's the launch. Didn't know as much of a difference for me on the time to click to time to post, but let's see how fast this part goes. This is the part that normally takes me forever. Now, we're going to do two scenarios here. I want to let everyone know. We're going to do one without the add-ons and one with the add-ons. With your mods and add-ons, your load time is definitely going to be increased. And I will make sure that you guys get to see how I, uh, or what add-ons I load, whether it be scenery, aircraft, etc. There's a couple of things that we're going to want to make sure we update today, too. Oh, come on, Windows, really? Get off my screen. What are you doing to me, man? Um, oh, cool, they changed the splash screen. Um... Anyway, so 
I believe Working Title has new releases out, and I believe that um, the Fly-By-Wire A320 also needs to be updated. So we're going to be checking both of those out as well. We're going to be seeing what they look like. I have some before and after shots that I'm going to be showing uh, with the FPS posted um, from a couple of different locations. We have an A320 at JFK. We have a TBM 930 over Tokyo. Um, and Tokyo? Yeah, I think it was Tokyo. And then we have... Um, what was the other one I did? I did... Oh, we did a... Um, the Just Flight uh, Aero 3 over at Gatwick. Um, and with Gatwick, it was very stormy, rainy, nasty weather. So we'll make sure that we set that accordingly uh, in case that has changed in the live weather. Multiplayer is on. I haven't decided if I'm going to be checking out the flight simulator on Xbox. Um, it would require a separate purchase. Um, at least I believe. You know, I got it from the Microsoft Store. I don't... Now I don't know. Um, I'll have to look into that. I believe it still requires a separate purchase, but I'll have to double check on that. If it requires a separate purchase, I probably won't do the Xbox. That would just, I mean, honestly, guys, I'm sure you guys can get where I'm coming from. That would be a total waste of my money. Um, I just, <laughs> my, my computer rig is built around flight simulation. So just the sheer functionality that I would lose by doing so. So, so far, I'm not overly impressed with the load time uh to the menu but we'll see i mean that wasn't too bad but again all of my mods and add-ons are removed now if you notice the marketplace we looks like we've got some things that are posted here so let's see what's the world update okay so i haven't installed the nordic yet and it's got an exclamation point so i don't know if there's something specific that we're supposed to be looking for here what is this? What is that? When did we get... Okay, let's go ahead and... Flying Eye Hospital. The MD-10. When the heck did we get an MD-10? Okay, let's grab that. So, that's interesting. Four hundred and twenty megs, so it's small. And what I mean by small is that's uh, so it's likely not going to be the most high fidelity aircraft, but still, an MD-10. I will absolutely try that out. A new aircraft coming to the channel. I, I'm kind of curious how many people are going to jump all over this as far as the modding community. I hadn't even seen any mention of an MD-10. Maybe I missed that. Although, truth be told, I haven't really been keeping up with the news lately. As many of you know, we sort of have a lot going on out outside of the, the simulator life. All right, so that has completed. We are definitely going to be checking this out at some point today, maybe tonight in the live stream. Uh, make sure you guys definitely keep an eye out for that. We are going to be doing a live stream at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time um, where we will continue to put this simulator through its paces. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to Profile, and we want to go to the Content Manager and make sure we don't have any updates. Yeah, we have a bunch of updates here. So let's go ahead and take a look at, let's see here, we just want updates available. And then we want to select all. And we are looking at another 18 and a half gigs. So I'm going to go ahead and run that and I'll catch you guys when we get back. Okay, we are finally done there. So now let's first go through our tests. Let's get a aircraft into, well, let's start with Tokyo, I guess. Do, 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 do. I think I was right around here. Uh, where was I? Uh, is it up here further? Ha! Ah, apparently I suck. Alright, so let's do... Uh, I just typed Tokyo last time. Yep. All right. So what we did last time is I just took this, have my TVM. We're going to hit fly. And let's see what the load time looks like here. I'm sorry if you guys can hear a humming in the background. It's the middle of the day in Tucson. And it's hot. So it's a fan going.
Okay, so that did seem a bit better, actually. I don't know if it's anything that I'd write home about yet. Oh. There we go. Okay, so we have new icons. Ooh. AI piling, AI anti-stall protection, auto trim. Wow. Radio communications, AI piloting, cursor mode, takeoff speed. Pilot's operational handbook between 53 and 73 knots. That doesn't seem right at all. Uh, landing speed between 108 and 184. Maybe this is based on weight. So let me see if this changes because this could be something pretty interesting. So let's go to our weights for a second and let's just, I don't know, let's add some payload here. So we're going to do that and then I want to see if those numbers changed. No, and that's not right. That, that doesn't even make sense. The takeoff speed, you know, we're, we're looking for a rotation speed of 95 knots in the TBM, but that's okay. So let's do what we're all here to see. Oh, gosh, they've changed all this. Okay. Let's turn the live time off. All right, so we can see things, what's going on here. And let's go to, you know, there's something that does look different here. Interesting. Okay. Um, oh, gosh, what are you guys doing to me? So we want general options. The menus are responding faster. I cannot discredit that. Um, I'm going to put this to the test right off the bat. We're going to go back to 100%. Um, I had that toned down for quite a while and then we're gonna go to not to VR. We want developer mode and Let's see right out of the gate what we're getting So Honestly, I'm not seeing that big of an improvement yet But let's see if it's more stable than anything knock it off Yeah, you cut it out. That's right. Oh, no. Although, hold to lock. Okay, some of these are interesting. Interesting. All right, we're going to... Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing to me? Ugh. Press question mark to interact. Or press here to interact. Okay, so we're definitely going to have to turn those off. I don't like those at all. All right, let's get the aircraft rolling. That's why I was doing that. I'm trying to turn the parking brake off. Okay, seriously, how does this... What did you guys do, man? Okay, we'll just use the go keyboard command. All right, so we're definitely going to be fighting with the keyboards. Right off the bat, I can tell you, I despise the new tooltips. I do not like that at all. I get what they're trying to do, but I do not like the execution of it. Feels weird. That takeoff speed was not right. Oh, everything is messed. Okay. So we got some weird things going on as far as flight model goes, but. She is flying smooth as glass. So there is a frame rate increase. I can tell you that right now. Hands down, frame rate increase. Um, 42 frames per second, 43 frames per second over Tokyo. Um, I think if we saw previously, it was like 30s. Um, so 10 frames, and 10 frames may not seem much. That's a lot. And actually, you know what? I can't do what I just did. I need to keep this fair. So give me a second, because this is not a fair test. I need to turn this back to 70, because that's what it was when I did my testing. So let's see what we get now and almost 60 frames per second. So massive improvement right off the gate. Oh my God, you can see how smooth it is. This is absolutely spectacular. Holy crap. Oh, as we come into a stutter. 
<laughs> but still, that is 60 frames per second. It's coming in and out, but I mean, you guys are seeing it up there. It's hitting it. And this is at 4K resolution. Now, again, I have the render scale turned down, but I mean, you know, I got a lot of heat when I, when I mentioned this before. Uh, where people were like, oh, I can totally tell the difference. I can totally see the difference. I need to emphasize at 4K resolution, I personally, at a 70% render scale, do not notice a significant, uh, um, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Degradation in detail. I, I just don't. Um, if you guys do, then maybe your eyes are better than mine and... I have to say, in that particular scenario, I think I'm getting the better end of the deal because I'm getting more performance, and I think the picture looks great. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, this is beautiful. I mean, look at this, guys. We are in. Uh, look at the look at the density. I mean, the buildings, the trees, everything that's here, and not a single issue, guys. At Asobo, you you did it. This is fantastic. This is beautiful. It is running. I've I've never seen it run like this. This is this is gorgeous. It's so smooth. This thing is this is like glass. I don't need to do my other three tests. I'm not going to worry about uh, uh, showing in the video per se. As far as the A320, I mean, we're still going to go back. We're still going to uh, do all of our add-ons, and we're going to see if there's any performance changes when we throw the add-ons in. But the tests I ran earlier, all the add-ons were removed. Um, so this is, this is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. 62, 63 frames per second. I bet if, I mean, and that's because that's all my monitor can hit. My monitor can't go above that. You know, I, I run 4K at 60. Um, so this is beautiful. Look at that. Look at, look at this traffic. That's traffic. Oh, look, 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 look. Smooth as glass. Not an issue. Look like it, like it was real world flying around. This is gorgeous. Now you know what? There is one more thing I think I changed. Let's let's play around with this. Let's bump it up, because I think I did change a couple things. Um, I don't think. Nope, they're still on ultra. Disregard. Texture super sampling again at 4K. I'm not going to worry about increasing that. There's no point. Um, I'm just not going to see that kind of detail difference in 4k i'm just not you know um at low terrain flying assessment things like that you might you might but uh let's bump this up I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna go to 90 and see what we get here so we're still rocking 45 high 40s still smooth as can be and yeah i just i mean I, I don't see much of a difference. Uh, and it's not to say I don't see any difference. But it's one of those things that after you're flying for two or three minutes and you're no longer looking at that particular detail. You know. But heck, man. Later in the video, at the end of the video, we will be doing a VR test as well. Now, unfortunately, I don't have my numbers previously. But I can tell you they weren't great. Uh, that's why I never fly it in VR. Um, there are a couple plans that I will fly in VR, but I have to crank the settings way down to do so. That has got to go. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, if you guys like tool tips, fantastic. Happy for you. I can't stand them. So we got to see if we can turn those off. So let's do this. Uh, is that under the assistance options? Uh, hard, hard. No, user experience. No, that's not what I want. Uh, oh, no, it's uh, accessibility, right? Oh, they changed it. Ah, uh, here we go. Cockpit interaction system lock. Legacy. Okay. Um, instrument name, tool tips. I'm going to turn that off. I, I, I don't want those. I don't like that. I like to be in control of the aircraft. And Can I do... Thank you. That's what I like to do. Okay, cool. I can think it's down for now, but I wanted it earlier. That's perfect, guys. Oh, my God. That is amazing. We have such a big day for flight simulation today, guys. We have such a huge day. 
um, working title, G3000 updates, G1000 updates. We have a G1000 hitting the market, marketplace over the next couple of days. Um, A320, the fly-by-wire has been updated, the latest development version specifically for Sim Update 5. Um, we're going to have a lot of things to go over, so let's go ahead and keep on moving on. What we're going to do now is I'm going to close down the simulator and we're going to um, put our add-ons back in and see what the performance degradation is like, if any. Okay, now the first thing to understand with Sim Update 5 is we're going to have to be very careful on what add-ons you guys put back in. And the reason why I'm saying you want to be careful is because, again, a lot of these mods are going to have to be updated. Okay, so we are doing a clean, brand new install of the A32NX development version. I'm going to hit install. I'm going to let this roll, and then I will catch you guys when it is complete. All right, so that is complete now. So we now have the A32NX loaded. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to load up add-ons linker. And we're going to start bringing some scenery in. Now, I'm only going to show you guys a couple. For this particular video but we have a bunch more coming here so the big one that i'm going to load in first i'm going to definitely load in my actually you know aircraft liveries got to have the a320 liveries okay but the big thing that i want to show you guys is scenery and we want the united kingdom and it's gatwick um gatwick has an amazing um, scenery enhancement but it is extremely FPS hungry um, it always just crushes my FPS let me see if any of these other ones are still working uh, let's see here we obviously want no handlebar and I'm not gonna worry about tool back, toolbar pushback and things like that yet I kind of want to check out the new ATC we're gonna be doing that later on this evening when we do the live stream or um, not the new ATC, but I want to see what it's like with some update five. See if anything has changed. Uh, changes, 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 many penny. Um, let's see here. Enhancements. I'm just looking for things that I'm wondering about here. And a lot of the stuff we are going to be testing over the next couple of days like crazy. So um, definitely stay tuned. All right. Those are new lights. We'll wait on those for now for the time being. Okay, so we're going to test the A320 out. We're going to load up in Gatwick. We're going to fire up the A3, A320 and see what our performance is like. Okay, so let's get back into the simulator. Now, I am going to let you guys watch the simulator load because, again, as you start adding your add-ons and building that community folder, the load time should decrease. That's expected behavior, but we're going to see by how much or maybe we'll be surprised and none at all so as you saw the timer or the busy ring come up on the cursor there that was me clicking the executable for microsoft flight simulator so we have started the launch process here I will say the new UI looks cleaner. I do like the new UI. Looks nicer. Seems more responsive. You don't I'm not seeing any of those weird hangs that we used to see that would always make you wonder, you know, you get that pucker factor like is it about to crash? Is it about to crash? It's going to crash. It's going to crash. 
So that's good. And some of that checking for updates that could be in relation to the servers being so busy right now. So I'm not putting a whole lot of heavy weight onto that just yet. Well, again, that's something that we will take a look at, you know, in a couple of days if that's still an issue. But even then, that so far I'm seeing much better performance. And even if the times themselves aren't quote unquote decreasing, we're seeing more activity in the simulator as it loads. You're seeing things that are telling you, hey, it is actually doing something versus just sitting there. I'm interested to try out the water landings too. Um, if you guys saw in the screenshots that we just saw in that previous menu, it looks like we've got uh, water trails and uh, wakes being made by the landing. So that's kind of fun. I'd say so far, from what I can tell, this is the best update they've put out yet. But we know it's still early. All right, so we're in the menu. That that really wasn't too bad. Heck, you used to be able to go out to dinner, take the wife shopping, take the kids to college, and come back and you'd still be at the loading screen. So, all right, now I always forget what Gatwick's ICAO is. There it is. Yep. Echo Golf Kilo Kilo. All right, let's zoom in here. Come on, work with me. All right, not bad. And again, oh. So that's nice. I don't know if you guys realize this. The world map is now giving you satellite imagery. Where before, it would just give you that blue background. Okay, so let's come back. Well, here, let's just zoom in on the airport. And we get an actual read of the airport. Oh, my God, that is fantastic. That is beautiful. That makes picking your parking spots so much better. You can tell the cargo areas. You can now identify the general aviation areas. Ah, oh, that is huge. That is a major improvement. All right, let's 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 get our plane in here. And let's go to, okay, all right, we've changed things. We've changed things. All right, it's over here. Airliners. <laughs> we are totally going to be checking you out in a minute. Um, oh, there it is. Okay, so you scroll down now. Fly-by-wire simulations, A320. Lock and load, baby. Um, yep, we're in a parking spot. Okay, let's see what happens. So now, again, testing load time. Remember, we have new scenery installed for Gatwick. So we're going to be seeing how effective that works. Um, we're going to see what the frame rate looks like. Um, any stutters, any issues with the scenery. Now, again, I want to emphasize, oh, that that is a crash to desktop. Okay, so let's get the scenery out. So this is one of the things that you guys are going to have to be, unfortunately, watching for. Um, because of that, and again, this this is going to be very likely to happen for a while. So what we're going to be having to watch for, you guys can expect more add-ons and updates videos from me um, now that uh, things are going to have to start being updated in order to work with some Update 5. So I guarantee that was not, I can bet you a million dollars that had nothing to do with um, Fly-By-Wire. million bucks says that was the um, Gatwick scenery. So relaunching the simulator, I'll catch you guys when we get in it this time. All right, so we're back in the sim. Now, loading into Gatwick actually did take a minute, but here we are, 47 frames per second. The A320 looking, looking, looking very nice, I might add. <laughs> Something has changed here. Anyway, let's get her fired up and see what the uh, impact is with the system and screens on. So, coming up top. Dude, that was so smooth. Oh, my God. All right. So, there's battery one, battery two. Let's do uh, external power there. All 
wing lights, cabin crew, sort of running through the steps, not looking to make everything perfect, but enough where we get the adjust. Yeah, it definitely looks nicer. They changed something. Um, let's come on down. God, it's so fast. So fast. It's not even what I wanted. Actually, I am going to have to do that again, but disregard that for now. Ah! 46 frames per second. So a little bit of stuttering. We, j we jumped around there for a minute. Let's turn the fly pad on. That's going to be another FPS impact. The lighting looks so much better. Everything looks so much nicer. It's much more crisp. This is great. Look at the reflections underneath. Yeah, things have changed. I know a lot of the stuff has always been there, but it just looks so much nicer. All right. <clears throat> so, taking a spin outside. Look at that American Airlines. Wow. Yeah, something's changed. Something has changed because that looks gorgeous. Look at that. Now, what I'm not seeing a lot of... Well, we have one aircraft rolling in there. And everything should be on. Ironically enough, the FPS dropped as we got outside. But let's double check some settings here and make sure we are truly... Uh, live here. What is that? And data. I gotta remember. Yep. Live. Yep. Everything's on. Things limited. Yeah. So I'm going to say that we have some very exciting flights ahead of us. Some really awesome stuff to uh, take a look at. The last thing that we're going to look at today is um, uh, we'll take a peek over. Well, you know what? Here, there was the one other thing that I wanted to check that we were in that we were talking about earlier with Gatwick. The weather has changed, and I don't know if earlier it was right or wrong, but let's do this. Let's throw a storm into play here and see what we get. Okay, so it's going to... I don't... That first little stutter doesn't bother me. That's the scenery changing. But look at this. Um, Almost no impact. Look at the me CPU memory usage. We're only looking at 5 gigs. Let's pull up Task Manager for a second get a real good idea of what the performance impact is right now. <clears throat> only looking at 11 gigs of RAM being used. CPU usage is at 18%. GPU is pegged, which I don't have a problem with the GPU being pegged. I want it pegged. I want the GPU working. Um, but uh, everything else, look at this. This is beautiful. 15% CPU, 11 gigs on the RAM. This thing used to chew up anywhere from 20 to 24 gigs for me sometimes. Now, I again want to emphasize that I am still missing many of the add-ons that we have. Um, none of the working title stuff is installed right now. None of my sceneries are installed right now. Um, so there are certain things that we're gonna be looking to see what happens as that uh, growth continues. But uh, let's do our final check, which is to ch take a look at the simulator in VR. All right, so we are in VR here. Now, I can't see the FPS counter in my current view. So I'm going to give you guys what my perception is, and then we'll take a look at everything afterwards when I have a chance to review what we're actually getting. Hopefully you guys can see it. I can tell you as of right now, everything's nice and smooth so far. Sorry for the goofy camera movements and things. I'm doing it on purpose. I know I took off a little soon there. I'm anxious. So I definitely need to play around with some, well, actually, I think it's just my focal point. So there are things that are hard to see. I need to do some graphic settings, obviously changes now. But with whatever my current settings are, I'm gonna have to go back and check. I literally just plugged it in and ran with it. Oh, let's get the flaps up. You don't sink. Don't tell me what to do, plane. 
this thing is running smooth as glass. Now, we're in Tucson. Tucson's not a large city. It's not your, you know, LAX or New York, you know, it, it, nowhere close. And now I'm too high. Don't mind any of the controls and things, guys. Seriously, I'm, I am not even remotely concerned about what, how, my, how I'm flying. Although I probably shouldn't melt the engine. But everything's very smooth. I am getting no stutters at all. Sorry if you guys hear my voice coming in and out. It's me talking as I'm turning my head. Everything is perfectly smooth. I know just by looking around that I've definitely got some some room to play around with uh, graphic settings. Um, it's not the clearest right now, but again, some of that is yeah, some of that is my field of view um, in regard to uh, what the, where the focal point is. I don't think I have my headset quite on right. By the way, I am using the Pimax 8KX for this. Uh, this is a review model that I've been provided to by uh, Pimax for a few weeks. And so with the 8KX, I am smooth as glass right now. No stutters at all. I'm not seeing anything. Everything is just crisp. I can move my head any way I want. Looking around the cockpit, um, I would lean forward, but I guarantee I'm going to hit the microphone and I've already sort of lost my uh, perception on, on where the mic is, so I think I've already bumped it twice since we've been talking here. But uh, yeah, Sim Update 5, uh, you, you got my vote. Um, I am beyond impressed beyond impressed um, we can work with this guys that this is this is beautiful this is the I would say this is the first major step in the right direction it's nice to see a performance change versus new scenery and new uh, flight models and things I, I I wanted the performance this is what I've been wanting and it's here I mean this is just this is beautiful I can go let's let's take it down nice and low Please do not do this in real life. Uh, I can almost guarantee you'll get in a very lot of uh, large amount of trouble for it. But I mean, look at this. So if I look down, I really hope you guys are catching the full effect. No, th there's there's nothing wrong with the terrain. It's not lagging. It's not shimmering. Nothing. I mean, it, it's it's like I'm flying. Okay, so there was a first stutter right there. I mean, but look how low I got. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's it's perfect. It, it, it's perfect and this is virtual reality I'm in VR um, so again Microsoft the team Asobo fantastic job fantastic job um, stay on this track whatever you do don't let anything that you've done today get get impacted because this is this is beautiful this is this is what we've been waiting for this is what the community has been asking for uh, so fantastic job well guys that's all I've got for you guys today um, I will, well, it's not all I've got for you today. It's all I've got for you for this video. Um, don't forget, live stream tonight, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And we're also going to have a couple of more videos coming out based on some of the other changes that have happened with the simulator. So I will catch you guys very soon.